Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa and Biggie Boy Jarzinho Rosenstrand. Oh, Biggie Boy is here, folks. Jarzinho Rosenstrike, the first native of Suriname to compete in the UFC. Decorated kickboxing career, but really took his training to that requisite next level. When he signed that UFC contract, he said, essentially, instead of training twice a day, I'm now training three times a day, and his UFC results certainly speak to that commitment. Undefeated, calling out guys like Francis Ngannou, not a lot of people burning up Mick Maynard's phone asking to fight the Predator. That's Rosenstrike in a nutshell. We'll see if he can get the power going early here tonight. Here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Yes, and yo, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia. Ty Bam Bam to Evolve! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, we'll invite you to These guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Real sneaky body kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. The most effective weapon 
in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. Though. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He blocks the punch. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Looking to land the right just out of range. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have now landed for Ty Tuivas. Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Rose. Powerful leg kick, land. Nice slip and counter there by Ty Tuivasa. Tags him with that uppercut. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Under three minutes to go in round one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Slips to avoid that left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Back and forth we go. Nice counter left there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot. That's income. Rosen strikes lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Blocks the shot. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Tie to Ivasa gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 30 seconds remain in the round. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Very nice leg kick there by Rosenstrand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh. Both of these guys... How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go with round two. Good stick. That 
that punch no good. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his backhand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, nice right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Great punch landed with so much power. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Big Oh, big left. Got the single collar tie. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that gun. John, if, he, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Three minutes to go. Great punch. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Roses. Straight to the body by Tai Tuivasa. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Punch is blocked. Beautiful strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice counter left hook to the head. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Rosen strike gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice body kick. Flush right hand is true. Good punch. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, Rosen strikes lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Cut the kick. Unable to connect with the right. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job. Of oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he, oh! Oh, he might be out. He got it. Final seconds here of round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting. 
landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Ooh! Nice punch there. Visibly limping here. Aituri Vasa gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Beautiful kick. Aituri Vasa gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Beautiful one. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Left hook counter. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Beautiful body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Explosion strike gets hit with a kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. That shot blocked by Tui Vasa. Counter punch landed there behind me. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.
take a look back at the highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout time! Bam, bam! Two, three, well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.